Hey everyone, it's Thursday the 4th of January and it's 10.45 in the evening. Today's video is going to be a fairly short one. Um, all I've got to show you is four more LO gauge Hornby locomotives that I picked up yesterday, plus a little bit of rolling stock. So, a little story behind these. Um, Diecast guy put an advert up on Marketplace. Um, these four locos, 95 quid. Uh, now there's actually two reasons I wanted these. One, I actually wanted two of the locos for myself. There's an LMS one here I'm not sure about yet. And then there's the fourth one, which I'm going to give to my stepdad soon. That's the second reason I wanted these. Um, so, the two I'm going to show first are the two that I wanted for myself. So, that is... Sorry, Smudge. You've got your bum on one. I thought it'd be easy just to leave the camera where it is, and I'll just bring them to. So we've got the uh, Wild Swan here, which has got a minor issue in there. The uh, motor gear is loose, so it runs, but it doesn't actually move. Because um, the um, drive gear on the motor just falls off. So when I first tested this yesterday, it made noise, but it didn't move. And I thought, well, there must be a gear problem with that. I wasn't wrong, because when I moved this off the worktop, I found the gear laying on the worktop. So it's on the motor now, but it just doesn't stay in place. And if you notice, the uh, top for the cold tender isn't actually on there properly. So that needs a bit of attention. It should be a fairly easy fix. We need a buffer for the front as well. I have got loads of assorted buffers. So I'm hoping I can find one for this and find a pair for the other one. Apart from the fact that buffer and the fact it doesn't move, that's in pretty damn good condition. The second one I wanted, because I really like the design of this, it's another Southern. I don't know if you got a glimpse of it there, I wasn't looking at the camera. It's this one. I just really like the design of this. And I don't have many Southern Locos. I only have one Southern Coach. So what I do want to get in the next couple of months, probably, or so, is just a handful of Southern Coaches. So I need a handful of green ones. I've got one green one that the die-cast guy actually had. But that's all I've got. I don't have any more um, Southern rolling stock. Yeah, I've got three, three Southern Locos now. Um, buffers are missing. Now, I did a bit of research on eBay with this one. I don't know why I did it with this one and not the other three, but hey-ho. Um, I searched the sold listings, you know, I searched for what had sold. Because that's the best way to get an idea of what something is worth. You look at what they've sold for. I mean, a lot of people, including charity shops, they just eBay it and look at what people are asking for them and then use that as a guide. Problem is with that, what the sellers are actually asking and what people are willing to pay are two different things because there's things I've watched and they've literally been on there for years and no one's bought them. I wish I was kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was just looking at the items that had sold and for this Exeter, and, you know, other variations of it, because it did come with different um, names on it and whatnot. that has got Exeter written on it. They sold for anywhere between £62 and £95. Um, you know, there's other factors in there, you know, condition. That would be mint if it had both front buffers. So if I can find replacements for them... I think I got my money's worth just buying that one, you know, just with that one. Um, I mean, even as is, it's worth at least 65 quid, at least, going by what they've sold for on eBay. Should have done the rest, actually. Either way, I think these would have been worth more than what I paid for them, either way. Right. So they're the two that I actually want to keep for myself. 
This one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. Um, it's the Princess Elizabeth LMS with loose tender top. I'm about 50% certain that I have one of these. Um, I'm going to check if I have. My friend Cat might get this one. If I have. Although I'm not very fond of this one anyway, so I might give her it regardless. Not 100% decided yet. Someone's weathered it and it does run. It needs a bit of servicing on the motor, but it does run. So, whatever I do with it, it will get that service regardless. Now, the fourth one I want to give to my stepdad. So, when the diecast guy, I think it was about a week ago now, maybe a bit more, first sent me that, to, actually that no, was well over a week ago now, isn't it? I just realised. But when he sent me those photos on that um, Facebook, with all that loco stock he bought, um, I went and got the ones I wanted, and then I came back, and then I thought, my stepdad might be interested, so I sent him the photos. And we had a look a couple of days later, we both went together. Um, now, the die-cast guy, he put these particular four away in the house because he wanted to keep those, he was going to display them. And then, for whatever reason, yesterday he decided not to. Um, and put them up for sale. Anyway, he wanted the blue mallard, which I'd already bought. <laughs> now, I was toying with the idea of giving that one to him. Then this job lot popped up, and this was in it, another blue mallard. So this is getting wrapped up in a bit, and it's going to go into my backpack. I'm going to give it to my stepdad. Because I know, at least with these three locos that I've got here alone, I've got my money's worth anyway. It does run. It is tested. It does run. I don't have to wiggle that join in the middle there because obviously one set of pickups is on here and the other is on there it is motor driven but yep it does run so i think he's going to be quite chuffed with that but you know he's done a lot for me over the years you know and every time i go over there to like i don't know help him clean out workshops or sort out the model rail railway when we always give me like 20 quid for doing it so my turn just to show a little bit of appreciation it's actually in nice condition as well do you like the red wheels on this the red wheels with that blue paintwork I think looks quite nice but one of the reasons I actually wanted a mallard myself it's just because it looks so, so different to everything else I've got. In that, you know, a lot of the other locos, even though they do look different, they still have that long round boiler on them. This mallard and that swan doesn't. <laughs> a completely different design. And actually, so is the um, Exeter. And that's one thing I actually really did want in my collection. When I actually decided I was going to get a collection like this and build it up, I thought I'd like variety. That's what I would like to see. Um, I've got a lot of stock based on, you know, all the older locos like steam and older diesels and whatnot. I want to get a few more modern ones. I've got a few more sort of modern era ones in the collection, but I want something like a Pacer. I know there's a lot of enthusiasts out there that hate the paces. <laughs> but I just want something like that so I've got something more modern in the collection. A modern DMU, that's what I want. Because so I've got some from, like, you know, that are modelled on the 1960s DMUs. So I just thought I'd want a contrast. I'd like to get a modern version of a DMU. So I'm still looking, but the problem is DMUs go for so much bloody money. <laughs> I've looked on eBay and I've tried in the past. They're, they're not cheap for some reason. <clears throat> I wouldn't actually mind displaying that mallard because I was just looking at it on here on the worktop and it actually looks pretty nice. And plus I should build a little plinth. Maybe once I've got this flat sorted out I could build a shelf and just make little plinths with a bit of track and just sit them on it. 
Anyway, a few bits of rolling stock. Not really that interesting. The basic stuff. We've got a, I believe it's a Mark One in a City Coach. So I actually don't have many of these personally. I gave them all to my stepdad like two years ago, a year ago, something like that. Because I had a uh, BR Blue HST125 um, with some of these coaches. And he asked me if I would sell it because he wanted the motorised section to double end his one. So you could have a motorised section on either end. And they got DCC chips on either end so they'd work together. So yeah, I sold it with the coaches because my train of thought was yeah I can sell that now and help him out and if I find another one in the future or want to buy another one in the future I can and I did because I got one from the North Walsh from Car Boot this um, earlier last year well, the summer of last year you know in the box I believe it's got one of these star coaches in it it's one that like it's got like a luggage area at this end though So if it has, and I'll probably keep this one. If not, I might give that to my stepdad. And the other few bits, I'm probably going to give these away as well. Like I said, they're just basically thrown in. I don't really need any more trucks or anything. Part of me wants to keep it because I don't have much in the way of Backman, if anything at all. Um, I think I've got a Wicked Coal truck. I definitely don't need no more um, guards vans. Uh, I don't know. Because I've got a stepdad that's in the model railways and I've now got my friend Kat who's in the model railways. It's like, who do I give it to? I don't want nothing for them. I'll just <laughs> who do I give them to? Who's going to like need them? Or well, who's it going to help out the most? Because I know I've already given a bucket load of guards vans to Cat already. Including a GW, I think. A Great Western. I'm pretty certain there's some Great Western greys in there. Um, the couplings don't matter because either way my stepdad's going to take them off because he doesn't use these ones. Um, yeah, like I said, I really do not need any more trucks. As tempting as that Wicked Coal one is. I've got those and I think I've got a few more sitting over here that I haven't decided what I want to do with. One, two, I've got another uh, brake van over here. There should be more than that over here and I can't find them right this minute. I've got um, Cat's HST over here. Yeah, I've got that one which I got in the other, the first lot that I've got. There's, these ones are actually a pair. I, I'll probably keep these. These might be Backman actually. Yeah, I'm pretty certain these are Backman with me. Do it. Yeah, these are Backman. Yeah, so. I can get rid of that one. I'd rather have a pair. And then I've got that guards van. I've got another brown guards van somewhere just like that. Oh hello, what have we got at the back here? <laughs> oh look. There's another guards van. <laughs> and another truck. Arnold Sands. this one because this one it doesn't look like Hornby it looks pretty well detailed actually is it Hornby bloody hell it is it just looks like it's been wet it's had the uh, buffers painted yellow It will be a surprise, because I will decide who gets what, off camera. <laughs> uh, what else have I got? I'm sure there are small bits somewhere. Well, hello, Fluffbutt. 
Mm. I'm getting my feet caught up myself. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely not. I'm not going to keep those. I'd rather keep. Do I keep the Arnold Sands one? I don't. I actually prefer these ones, the Mac ones. I don't know. It just looks better than the Hornby one to me. There's another one of these somewhere, I don't know if it's dropped on the floor or what. Anyway, I'm hoping that the next video after this one is going to be another Model Railway related video because um, Kat asked me a couple of questions last night. She asked me if I preferred steam or diesel. And she also asked me if I had any favourite locomotives, and I thought, well, I'm going to try and write them all down here. And I'm going to have to go through the boxes anyway, you know, to find them and Google them and find out what they are and whatnot. I thought, I might as well do a video on that and uh, tell everyone what my favourite ones are. I just thought that would make quite an interesting um, video. In fact, one of them is on here, <laughs> so that's Southern. Butter pause, you're knocking everything over now, aren't you? Yeah, that green Southern Exeter one, I really do love that one. And it is actually a really heavy locomotive. It's probably the heaviest one out of all of these. I don't know if it came like that from the factory or if someone's added some weight to it. It actually does look like it's got a, um, a die cast chassis as well. What's their use, smudge butt? <laughs> eh? Yeah, so like I said, quite a short video. That's it, unfortunately. I've got much else to show you. I haven't got anything else to show you, actually, right at the minute. Who knows what 2024 will bring, though? And I never, ever thought I would actually own as much as I do. When I first... I've said this before, I know I have. I've said it in previous videos, but... When I first started this four years ago, it was about a year before COVID hit, I originally just planned to have a base the size I've got, you know, the 6x4 base, 8x4 base, I think, or 8x6, I can't remember now. And I was literally just going to buy a handful of locos, a handful of rolling stock, just so I had a handful of stuff to, you know, play around with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that didn't last because I then kept seeing things on Marketplace like, oh, I like that. That'll do for my layout. Oh, that'll be nice for my layout. Oh, that's a nice loco. I want one of them. Oh, I want some locos to learn to fix on, so I'll buy some job lots of spares or repairs. Now I've got this big bloody collection of them. <laughs> um, so what I'm actually considering, I might display some. Because I've got some that don't work very well. I've got a few like doubles in there which I was keeping just so I could uh, do a pretend double header on them sort of thing on the layout. Um, I haven't got any shelf space at the minute. But I have mentioned in the part um, previously that I want to board up these windows and put shelves on there so maybe I could display some of them on there. If I want to run them on the layout, I can always take them down again. I would prefer a glass cabinet, though. Yeah, I would prefer a glass cabinet to put them in, just to keep the dust off, but... I know you can get little uh, display cases like that, can't you? you know, different lengths. Maybe I should look into that. Um, I want to find, like... A yay thick piece of wood, you know, like a little bit of ply or something that I could paint up, put a length of track on it, so it looks like it's sitting on a proper plinth, and probably put a little buffer on the end because I have, even though I've given Cat a load of buffers, I've still got a load of buffers myself. So just, I'm just sort of spitballing ideas here. I tend to do that when I've got the camera on, you know. I tend to think of more ideas when I've got that on than when I'm sat at the computer staring at a screen doing nothing. 
Right, well, I'm going to end the video here because I do need to get the backpack packed up ready for tomorrow. I'm going to go over to Mum's now that they are COVID free. Yay! Um, yeah, so my stepdad doesn't know that he's getting that yet. I've told him I've got something for him, but I haven't told him what. <laughs> um, I really do want to go and get the box of steams out now so I can see if I've got that pr um, Princess Elizabeth. Well, that does mean I've got to dig all the little ones off the top because I put all my bigger ones at the bottom of the box. That's a bloody carrier bag. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Um, and uh, if you did like what you see, you want to see more of this, or perhaps you're in a die cast, I do. I've got a huge die cast collection as well. Um, Lego, computers, I do all sorts on this channel. So if you do like that sort of thing, you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, please. Pretty please. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. If you want to hit that subscribe button, go ahead. If you don't, you don't. Anyway. Um, if you do hit that subscribe button, just remember to hit the little notification bell when you do. So you get notified when I do upload videos. Um, and in the video description down below the video, you might have to hit, uh, I think it's show more or something when you're on a mobile device. I don't know. I don't really watch YouTube on mobile devices. Uh, but yeah, if you click that, have a look in the description. There's going to be links to some of my other stuff in there, like my other two YouTube channels. I've got a gaming channel, um, and I've got the Lego channel, which is one of the reasons I don't bother mentioning it on this one, because I've got a channel for that. Um, my Discord server, which I am on there quite regularly. I mean, there's times throughout the day where I'm busy, so I won't be on there, but evenings, first things in the morning, I'm usually lurking about on there. Um, Hang on. Must be the longest outro ever of this route. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, my um, Twitch channel. Once I've got another webcam, I'm going to start streaming again. Properly, this time. Regularly. I've been saying for ages I wanted to do that, and just been lazy, basically, and I just want to stop being lazy. So... Um, but I gave my webcam to a friend of mine, Wolfie 30, because his died. <laughs> I don't know what on earth happened to it, but he went to use it one day to stream and everything was just all balked on it. It just wouldn't do anything. And I tried it on my computer and got the same results. So it was definitely the cam, so I gave him my one because I bought two identical. In the sales, the January sales, like a year ago at Sainsbury's. So... I got it cheaper than it was, so I just gave it to him. I've got another one over at the workshop, but I want that one there. So, I need to get myself another one. That won't be for a couple of weeks or so yet. Maybe a bit longer, because I do want to MOT my leeway motorbike so I can use that again, because at the moment it's just parked there doing nothing. Because um, it's due for its first MOT and I still haven't booked it in. I want to wait until the new year. So, you know, get Christmas and everything out of the way first. Anyway, I'm just babbling now. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.